An aneurysm is a dilatation of an artery in the body, mainly from a weakness in, in the uh, artery. And the artery gradually dilates and uh, becomes thin-walled and then eventually can rupture. Risk factors are mainly hypertension, family history, uh, Marfan's disease, if someone has that specific disease as, as a risk factor. Some of the connective tissue diseases also uh, play into it, but, uh, but uh, it's just people who have weaknesses in, in the arteries. Uh, most aneurysms are asymptomatic, and that's really one of the main problems. They're asymptomatic until they rupture, and, and when they rupture, there's a high degree of morbidity and mortality. And uh, so we like to try and uh, pick aneurysms up and, and repair them before they become symptomatic. Now, some aneurysms do cause pain. Uh, abdominal aortic aneurysms, for instance, can, can cause back pain, and that's one of the main symptoms of uh, the routine abdominal aortic aneurysm. But most are asymptomatic. This is an x-ray film of someone with an abdominal aortic aneurysm, and what you see is dye that's in the abdominal aorta. These are the kidney arteries, and, and this, this is the aneurysm, and you can see the, the dye is, is, is widened out, and the, the wall of the artery has widened out, and actually this patient had a, a contained rupture uh, of an abdominal aortic aneurysm. This was diagnosed uh, with a CT scan. Uh, that's usually how the diagnosis is made. Ultrasound can also be used. Um, and uh, once the diagnosis is made, depending on the size of the aneurysm, we you know, recommend repair. We can use the traditional open repair where we open the patient and, and put a graft in uh, from the inside where we sew it in, actually physically sew it. And then uh, more modern type repairs are what we call endovascular repairs, and it's where we place a, a graft that that's, uh, really looks like this, but it's constrained, and we can go up through, uh, through the groin and place the graft in place, and, and it sits right here, and it covers the aneurysm from inside the artery, and that's called endovascular aneurysm repair, and that's a more modern technique, has less morbidity and mortality associated with it, uh, quicker recovery, and, and that's what we do with most patients with aneurysmal disease now.